had to go grocery shopping by herself. I'm not doing that to be mean. We had, she, very, she had to get very few things. Very few. It's going to be hardly anything. And I think it's important for her to realize how it's going to be. You know, once she's here all by herself. You know, why should everything go on exactly the same and then I'll be gone and then she, you know what I mean? I think it's important for her. And I didn't have her get all extra things for me or anything. It's a very small, small amount because I walk and I bring home $50 worth of groceries here, $70 worth there. You know what I mean? So there wasn't much for her to get. And I think it's important for her to go by herself. I am severely, severely depressed. Of course, I'm going to be shaking because I'm, I'm, if that woman's going to come today, you know. Know what I mean? It's supposed to be nice out today. I told the woman in the neighbor who took me to Omar to get his rabies shot and to have a checkup for his corneal ulcer, which is doing fine. Now he's just on the over the counter refresh drop. It doesn't have to be on anything that I get prescription from the vets. Um. Video. I'm glad that the, 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 the cutie pie didn't die. I believe him. It's not like I ever thought he called all the services. I thought maybe his parents did. He swore to me he didn't tell them. Just because he says it, he, you know, people always, of course he's going to say my family didn't do it, okay. You can't prove your family didn't do it. That's the thing, people. He can't prove his family didn't do it. I believe him that he didn't show them the letters, but that doesn't mean they didn't call just because I made simply the act of sending him the letters. But he's a full-grown adult, so... No, oh, it could be anybody. That just pisses me off to no end. Lots of people act strange. This all pisses me off. Exhausted, emotionally drained. I did contact you know, a therapist to set up, but then like, it's always remember saw my mom's new psychiatrist with the saw my primary care physician, saw the lawyer, set up this thing with, with the woman coming 
So, you know, and I have to look forward to my mom freaking out on me, which I'm sure she's going to do. I just want her to be aware of options. You know, if she digs her own, I want her to be aware of options and... The lawyer 100% sees it, he 100% gets it. He, even the woman commented today, I said to her, I said, I think he's just trying to, so if I do all these, all, and then in the end, if things don't work out, I'll at least know I tried, you know. It's not to get my mom to, to, to have me live with her, if that's not what she wants. I don't want to be where I'm not wanted. Once again, things would have to change. Things would have to change. My mom would have to acknowledge that she needs my help and she would have to tell everyone that that's what she wants, that no one's coercing her or whatnot. And the lawyer said that he could, he can arrange, he can, he knows of a thing where I can actually not be on disability anymore and be my mom's paid caregiver for $1,500 a month. That's what he had suggested when she, when we went there. She seemed like as she wants to do this and blah, 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 whatever, and have me stay with her. And then, but she was pissed from the moment we walked out of the lawyer's office. She was pissed at me. She was pissed at me in general, people. She thinks, I don't know what she thinks, but, but, the lawyer wasn't able to reach the elder services. That didn't mean that we don't have a case. And but when he said, when he talked to someone and they didn't have her in the system, that's what she heard. And and I was getting upset because I know that she has to be in their system. They didn't show up here and then call four days later and say there's a new right. So, but then when we were walking home, oh, she was mad if I said watch your step because I'm treating her like a baby. Meanwhile, I told you she's nearly fallen before, like, on the bus or whatever. Um, you know, I can't win. If I, I don't know what she needs. I mean, we were on the commuter rail and she got walked in because she didn't, she didn't want me to go with her, right? And then when someone walks in on her, she comes back and says, someone walked in on me, why didn't you tell me to lock the door? So I'm treating her like a baby if I say things to her that she thinks that I should know that she's fine with. Well, I would think she would know to lock the commuter rail door. Okay? The train door, whatever. And actually, the next time, and when I was on that, the train, I thought I'd lock the door and someone would have walked in on me, but my, they, they looked and saw my bag and bag or underneath the thing or something. And it's not the end of the world. I would have joked about it because I was, I, I was remembering what happened. I thought I'd locked the door and sometimes it was, they're difficult. You think you've locked it and you haven't. And getting walked in on is not fun, but it isn't the end of the world, you know. And I was seeing my therapist before I walked in on a guy, um, big, big, black guy standing there at the urinal, but I didn't see anything because I, I didn't make sure I didn't see anything. You know what I mean? I, I, you're so startled when you walk in on on somebody, and and he was so embarrassed because he thinks would have would have I think he left the door unlocked on purpose so I someone would a woman would walk in. It was a co-ed, you know, co-ed bathroom. Um, I don't know. It's not the end of the world. I'm making a point that I can't win. And then we were talking about her friend, whose husband, you know, even though he had all kinds of health problems, as a lot of people do, Hope took care of this guy who, who had numerous heart attacks and was, was still, he was like on a breather or something, was still smoking cigarettes, okay? And my mom, we were talking about this guy who I know was not a healthy eater and, and smoked really bad, <coughs> worst kind of cigarettes, and I mean, and had tons of health problems at a young age, etc., whatever, and 
my mom had brought it up. I don't go around and bring it up. But then I said, yeah, he died young from, he had numerous health problems, and he's, she's like, oh, you're so perfect, Laura. No, Mom, far from it. But that's apples and oranges, you know what I mean? It's, I, I know that, that 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 guy didn't just, he, he had a lot of health problems from not having a healthy lifestyle, including smoking those really cheap, super, super bad for you, $2 a pack cigarettes, okay? Come on, Mom. But I didn't bring it up. She did, and then she got mad at me. I'm just making a point. Or I treat her like a... She's just enraged with me. I told you. Selena would talk to her and and, and tell me that, that she blames you, that she winds up in these hospitals if you, if you have to call emergency or just whatever. Who knows? I don't know. I think she's I'm just sick of everything. But, but doesn't that tell you I can't win? She doesn't want me to go with her to the bathroom when I'm on the train, right? But then, comes back and someone, went, and a guy walked in on her accidentally because she didn't lock the door. She comes back, why didn't you tell me to lock the door? So if I tell her certain things that she thinks I shouldn't tell her, I'm not a baby. Why do you treat me like I'm a baby? You know what I mean? Well, I wouldn't think I'd have to tell you to lock the door, the career real door, and or else I'll be blamed if someone walks in on you, you know, I cannot fucking win. Nothing wrong with me having her, but her first instinct was, I, w I don't know what to write down, I don't know what to get. Well then, wh what are you going to do when you, when I'm gone? And like, obviously I can't go instantly, but she's still, she'll still say, like, when are you leaving? You know what I mean? So it's not even like she's making it a leisure thing. Well, yeah, I'm going to move out, but it's, you know, I'm in the process of packing. I'm just saying, why say that to me? Why say, well, I don't know what to write down. I don't know what to get. Okay, but get whatever you want. Get whatever you would get if I was out of the picture like you want me to be, according to you. You know what I mean? It doesn't, I'm not doing anything wrong having her go grocery shopping by herself. I had to return my movie, too. I hope she remembers to do it, but if she doesn't, it's a big deck and walk down. Um, it was a cute movie, Central Intelligence. Not like it had murder in it or anything. Or not. It had, I don't know if the people actually died, but... You know what I mean? It was generally just a cute movie. Angel was scratching on my mom's door this morning, which I would never hear. Just I'm sleeping on the couch because my room's a disaster because I'm in the process of packing. Oh. I bought boxes at Walmart. Get small boxes at Walmart for 60 something cents each. And they're like the same size as the ones that I got at a storage company more and more than one occasion in my life for two bucks each with small size boxes. So they're a lot fucking cheaper at Walmart, huh? <laughs> I'd say that's a lot cheaper. I was in the other video, like, throwing caution to the wind, not going on the doxy side clean. Is that foolish of me? Probably. But I don't care.
when I say she has few things to get at the grocery store, it's not like I sent her and we have like a two hundred dollar order and I put in all kinds of extra things I wanted. No, it's simple stuff. It, it's it's gonna come to probably seventy bucks total. Not gonna take her long. She shouldn't have any problems. She didn't like me telling her she should have drank coffee, but she should drink coffee. I see you're falling asleep here. I'm not worried about her getting stabbed. She could lose the cash, but you know what? She could lose the cash when, when I mean, when we went to visit her friend in the nursing home, which was obviously not very pleasant for me. That could be my mom's fate. I don't know, it probably will be my mom's fate. It's sad. I had given her cash because she's insisting she's not a baby and she can carry the cash. And she had some cash of her own. I gave her extra cash. And what do you think happens? She lost it. Tells me, oh, it's missing. It's gone. And it was simply in an... I found it in two seconds, literally. It was just in the other part of a compartment of the little change purse she had part of her cash in. I found it instantly. You know what I mean? So... She didn't want me to look for stuff she's missing. That's what's annoying. Especially what she's missing is money. But I think she's missing money again. Because I said, you have that hundred and then I give you other money. And it, it's gone. It was whatever. Who knows? The thing is, she can think she's missing money. It's simply in another part of her pocketbook. But now her latest thing is if she can't find something... I'm not allowed to look for it, no matter what it is. So it's just gone. It disappeared. Tell me that's not it. neighbor who's my friend and his wife are now my friends they don't want to look like a lawyer I don't know what that anyway um he's teasing me calling me Mrs. Robinson Mrs. Robinson Wasn't, didn't she go after 18 year old or something I say no I am not Mrs. Robinson I am a cougar <laughs> this is, I'm a cougar my 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 any guy, and then and, and I just don't limit myself, you know. I, I've gotten younger guys who brought it to my personal. As I told you, that guy that massaged me on the beach was, I was 45 and he was 30 or 31. Um, well, I'm not after the kid around here. He has a girlfriend and he smokes, and I'm not after him anyway. It's just he's eye candy, he's whatever, he's sweet, he's eye candy. You know? I can fantasize about him. Fantasizing about him is completely harmless, and in my fantasies, he's not smoking cigarettes. <laughs> I was thinking of telling him that. So. It's harmless. It's not like in the letter that I said, I, it's not like I propositioned him. Like, I'm just joking around, any of, you know, I'm just kidding, like, like is there any of your friends into old women, let me know, I don't know, it's a joke. It's not summer anymore, I don't get to see him without his shirt on. <laughs> care who you are, everyone likes compliments. And mine are sincere. I had no idea who he was when I was ta I was chatting up his dad and just hey who's that around here I've seen, you know, and I, I said um and I go, Is that your son? He's like, Yeah, it's my son. I'm like, Oh he's hot and 
and, and he, the dad said, I'll tell him. He said, no, I don't care if you tell him. I'm not after him. He's a kid. I mean, he's not technically a kid, but you know what I mean. I know he has a girlfriend, and I'm not after him. I'm just admiring his physique. good-looking guy, and he's taller than me, you know, in shape. Hopefully my mom will go grocery shopping without a hitch. If she thinks she's going to live alone, she needs to at least, you know, do some small things like that. We've been having some nice weather here in Massachusetts lately, but as I joke with the neighbors, before you know it, I mean, my least, you know, snow and sleet and all this crap that I hate, my least favorite season, my least favorite weather. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm. 